Welcome to Analytics. In this video, we are going to see about the DAX function contain string. And if you are looking for a SQL equivalent for like condition, then contain string solves the purpose. With this note, let's try to understand what this contain string is, and also we will try to understand what contain string exact will do. If you see the contain string syntax, it is like within text and find text. If you are searching for some characters within some column, right? So that column should be mentioned here and whatever you are trying to search, you need to put it in the second argument. So this is the simple definition or syntax of contain string. So once the searchable string is found within the text, then if it is found, then it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. That is the concept behind constraint strings. Then what does this contain string exact will do? You can see the uh, syntax is same within text and find text and it also return true or false. What is the code difference? So difference is like uh, contain string <coughs> is not case sensitive. So capital letter A and small letter A will be searched and return true for contain string where in case if your case sensitive is the key factor then you need to go for contain string exact as the name indicate it will have a case sensitive search so that is the core difference between that and you can use the wildcard characters i hope this is not difference between these two you can use the wildcard characters for both contain string contain string exact but only the difference is is this not case sensitive and it is case sensitive that is the code difference between content string and content string exact so this is the first part of the video and i am going to demonstrate as well once we complete these two definitions or understand this function in the second part of the video we will try to understand the difference between content string content string exact search find as well as left and right when to use uh, these functions okay so <clears throat> with this note let us move on to demo before demo this channel contains a free content worth 75000 inr or thousand dollar which covers msbi ssas ssas and also power bi and this channel also contains SQL server that is you can learn SQL and those who are looking for a career change in uh, Power BI or data analytics you can watch this career guidance playlist let's move on to Power BI so as you can see I have a product table here in fact and um, different dimensions customer product sales territory and internet sales Let's focus on the product to understand uh, the contains uh, string. So let us try to filter out um, from this uh, list the product name. If this column contains jam, right? We will try to filter out. So how to write it? New column. I'm trying to demonstrate with the creating a new column index then we will try to create a measure also so now i will write contains string okay as a column then what i need i will start typing the content string when you start typing the intelligence will uh, list you the list of functions within the text that is i need it in a column then what i want to search you just type it as jam right this is the uh, video behind this I mean concept behind this once you are done so just press enter you can see here whichever wherever you get the text right I mean the jam matches here and it is also not case sensitive then it returns a true so that is the core concept behind the content string so what about the content string exact if you start typing exact okay what happens now 
you can see it will return false even this will return false because your um, exact will look for actually case sensitive right you can specify actually whatever exist here so once you press jam and press enter actual cases you put then it will return true so this has written the exact case this is the core difference between content string and content string exact so let us move back to content string itself and try to understand the pattern search so what uh, i want to look here is like i want to get if there is uh, one exist i mean to say i need jam along with that at anywhere after jam the number one exist so how you can write in sql you can use percentage you usually put percentage and one meaning like jam should be there uh, meaning in sql is jam should be the starting point of the um, text then percentage then one at the end this is the like condition in sql here the jam can be anywhere the pattern search it will check if it exists then followed by okay you put star here then one should be exist so in between jam and one there can be any content and at the end of uh, the string after one there can be any text before jam any text so it will be understood self understood by the content string so that is how the content string works slightly it will be deviating from the like function but the if this pattern matches then it will return true so it should return one true for this and this condition so you can see this has written true and also for this true so any string after that also can be exist so this is what a pattern search meaning so the star indicates any characters in between and if you need only one character in between right you need to put question mark you can try with your examples so this is what uh, those who are familiar with sql you will understand what that question mark means meaning like what i'm trying to say is like in between jam and one you should have any character only one character then you put question mark then it will return in this case it will return false let us try to check it out so you can see it has written false meaning like in between jam and one there can be any character one single character it can be one two three a b c d any character single character means you put one if it is two character means you put two times so in between jam and one there should be any two characters so that is how it will be if you put star many characters any character there is no count at all so if you have a specific count of numbers of characters then put question mark question mark question mark how many characters you have if there is no limit you don't know what it will come then you put star here this is the concept behind pattern searching so now you are clear with uh, content string and um, content string um, exact let us try to understand with the practical example where you will use this function let us try to understand uh, i want to search like um, what you called a glow like gloves okay now you can see half finger gloves full finger gloves i mean lot of gloves so when i want to choose some filter right whatever it contains gloves so i need to search here then i need to keep on filtering so if you have uh, multiple items say for example the product contains hundreds of gloves products then you need to keep on choosing this one by one instead you can write a measure okay so how you can write is like i have already written to time save it so calculate sum of order quantity filter dim product contain string the english product contains gloves okay so it will give you all this gloves results okay whatever you respect full off or whatever you see the gloves is matching in all this product uh, products then whatever be the sum it will be summed up so that is what it is written here when i use this measure over here this is the measure definition so 1430 in order to 
verify whether this result is true or false let us try to filter all these close items there is no sales for these four i mean these three full finger gloves only half finger gloves has uh, sales that is what 1430 which is already written it over here so this is how you can write and also another scenario like uh, how you can write lot of times we may try to write multiple in conditions like half finger gloves half finger gloves m and size right so writing like this will end up in distinct values i mean you have uh, some specified uh, you have some list then you know like there won't be any more new products will be added for gloves then this will work fine but what happens semi half gloves as added in the future so in that case this query will fail then you come and fix this x i mean dax measure so this is where you can avoid um, such one that is gloves sales bad measure meaning like if you are uh, putting like a gloves sales for each and every item whatever in the existing product then this works fine currently but in future some new products added semi half gloves then you are not filtering so this will return a wrong calculation instead if you write like uh, contain string gloves it will filter half gloves full gloves even semi finger gloves whatever you have added in the product okay that will be automatically calculated and added this is how you can write the pattern search or if you are not sure about specific products i mean to say if you are, do not have uh, pattern search you do not write like this instead you go for contain string this is the another business scenario this is the end of first uh, part of the video and moving on to second part what makes you the difference between uh, left right now we have seen all this uh, text uh, manipulation function the left and right search and find is basically a text functions whereas this contain string and contain string exact is a information function information means if the pattern is match return true or false so when we need to use uh, all these uh, functions if i have already made left and right and uh, search and find function in order to understand uh, when you should use exact um, functions at different scenarios which will give you optimum performance if you want to filter based on beginning and end of character so in the example here you want to have first two characters left of product name two characters will be ad right if you want to search with only two characters then go for left and right okay or at the end so then you can go for filter based on beginning or end of text then go for left and right then content string and content string exact filter based on textual patterns okay sql equivalent for like functions then it will you want to filter it then you go for content string where when you uh, actual confusion occurs between search find and content string when you need to go so you need to understand the fact like search and find will return the position of the search string what i'm trying to convey we are in power bi now and you can see this is the column that we created using content string and i have a, another column which is created using a search function and i forgot to mention in my previous video that uh, in the search function also accepts the wildcard characters like star and question mark so what is the key difference here is like both are trying to find the same content where content string will return true or false whereas the search function will find whether that pattern exist or not if it found and get the occurrence the exact location or position where it found you see the jam star 1 so this has found at this position that is 1 2 3 4 10 is 4 5 sixth position so it returns the six so it requires some additional computation as well after returning true or false then also compute the number of characters it has found 
So always if you want a performant efficient function then go for content string. So this is the code difference I want to highlight. So I hope you understand the uh, difference between uh, all the these functions like uh, find left right find search content string content string exact and based on different scenarios you can choose either one of them if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset